Are you interested in progressing in your goals more efficiently? We highly recommend the 12-week year planning approach introduced in the book 12-week year by Brian P. Moran and Michael Lendington. After reading the book, we were inspired to create a Notion template that could allow you to plan your goals in 12-week cycles instead of a yearly approach. In this video, we'll be guiding you and giving you a tour of our 12-week year planner Notion template and workbook. If you find this useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So let's dive right in. So when you first download this template, you'll notice these various sections. So we have my goals, which is showing all the goals you're working on in this 12 week cycle. And then we have each of your weekly plans stored here and pre-made for you already. And we've included 12 weeks here, but with a week 13 bonus week in case that you need to work more on your goals and you need that extra week to finish things up. And then we have our tasks here which show incomplete, complete, and view all so that you can see all of your tasks relating to your weekly plans and goals here. And then on the left-hand side, you'll notice a navigation bar with a vision and planning workbook like this. And we also have a final reflection sheet as well so that you can reflect on your 12 weeks when you're finished with it. And then we have these table of contents for easy navigation so you can click my goals to go to my goals weekly plans here and then tasks here so if you have more things on the page it can be hard to navigate but with these buttons you should be able to navigate very easily so the first thing we recommend you to do is go to your vision and planning workbook so if we click into here you'll notice that you can do a life area evaluation so in each of these life areas you want to score between one to ten points and assess how you're doing so so 10 points means that you're doing really good and then one would be that it's not very good. So let's say that for physical health, we would give a score of five and then you can note down why you gave the score for five. And if you'd like to add more life areas, all you need to do is click the plus button here like this and then you could add your new life area here. And then the next section is which areas are you currently happy with? So now you can take a look at your life area evaluation and then determine which parts have high scores. So you can answer about that here. And then you can think about which areas you want to improve on in the next 12 weeks. So these are the ones that have maybe a lower score that you think could be very important to you. And then next, we can go over our vision. So what is your aspirational vision, three-year vision? What do you truly want to achieve? And so on. So we have these dedicated prompts for you to determine your vision. And then we have the goal realization and planning. So at the end of the 12 weeks, to realize the vision, which goals do you want to achieve? And this is where you want to set very actionable goals that you think can be completed and that are really important to you. So here, what we recommend you to do is click the add goal button. And when you do that, you can create a new goal like this, and you can just name this goal. So as an example, we'll be adding a new goal here, which would be spend more time with my family. And let's say that this life area is related to relationships. And when you open a new goal like this, you can already add a cover by clicking add cover. And we'll just find some kind of family photo from Unsplash like this. And we'll spend more time in the goal planning section later, but there is already a dedicated template inside to make everything easier with the goal planning process. And we recommend three to four goals here. So let's actually add another one. So for example, if you want to make reading a priority, you could do read 12 books, add a cover, and the life area would be learning. And here we can just add another goal here as well in goal number one. And then you can look at these goals that you just added and think about why these 12 week goals are important to you. And if you commit to achieving them, what will be different? So you can think about that here. And once you're done, you can just scroll all the way up and return home. And now you already have your goals already in the My Goals database like this. So the next thing that you can do is actually go through the goals. So if we go to Improve Physical Health, we'll see these planning questions. So you can list out tactics to tackle the goal below. So what kinds of things are you going to try to do in order to improve your physical health? What are some keystone actions that will help you achieve this goal? What are the costs that you will have to pay to take that keystone action every week consistently? Are you willing to pay that cost to reach this goal? And so on. 
And then you can actually start your task planning. So the tasks can be planned either through your goals or through your weekly planning. So if you're going to do it through your goals, all you have to do is just click new. And let's say that in order to improve your physical health, you want to go to the gym twice a week. So, so we can just make a task like this and we can set a due date. So for example, if we're going to start our weekly planning from next week, as the first week, then we can just go ahead and put this on Tuesday like this. And then the weekly plan is going to be linked to week one. And let's say that now we're going to do the second session where you go to the gym, you could put like this, and then we can, let's say, go on Friday. And this is also part of week one. So then you could do go to gym number three and then you can set it for the 23rd which would also now be in week two and so on so this is how you can plan your weekly plans relating to this goal improve physical health so you'll want to do this for all 12 weeks in advance and then you'll have a really good framework for your 12-week planning and when you're done with your goal at the end of the 12 weeks, you can actually go through each of your goals and make a reflection. So let's go back by clicking the home button. And now we can actually go to our weekly plans. So once you've filled in all of your goals, like we showed with the improved physical health, you can actually go to week one. And when you go to week one, we already have a preloaded template here as well for weekly planning. So every week you can plan your week by answering these questions. What will you do to make your achieve your goals tasks this week, for example, and some other dedicated prompts. And then you'll see this week's task. So just now we made the tasks to go to the gym and we had the due date and improve physical health like this. So everything you set in the goals are going to show up in this week's tasks like this. And when you complete them, it's going to actually show the progress up here. And we'll also see this progress reflected on the goals. And after the week's task, you can also set up your model week. So we recommend you to use time blocking in order to Make sure you have different kinds of blocks of schedule to make sure that you can really achieve your goal. So for example, a strategic block is a scheduled time slot each week dedicated to uninterrupted work. So we recommend adding some of those inside as well as buffer blocks so you can manage unexpected and less important tasks and breakout blocks, which is a productive breakout session, which should be a minimum of three hours and dedicated to activities other than work. So this is just for taking a break each week. And just try to plan your schedule in advance sort of loosely and make sure that you really fit in your week's tasks inside of here. And finally, at the end of the week, you can check your score. So when you look at your progress bar here, you'll see the percentage of your completion for this week. And you can see how did it go this week? What were the successes? What could have been improved? And what do you want to do differently next week? And make sure also to add the date here. So when we do a weekly plan, you can easily add the start and end date. So let's say that we're going to start this weekly plan from the 15th and it's going to end on the 21st. So we could do something like this. And when you click out, you'll see your weekly plan like this. So every week, all you have to do is click into the next week and the next week. And if you want to add the tasks through the week, you can also do that as well. So let's say that we want to plan a family night each week. You can add a new one here, family night number one. And in this case, you have to make sure to tag it with the correct goal. So spend more time with my family is the goal. And you can put a due date as well. So let's say the 20th. And once you have all of your tasks added through each of your goals and you can start doing your weekly plans, you'll also notice that the tasks also appear in this section. So you'll see every single task regardless of the weekly plan over here. So it's kind of a view all. And then when you complete them, you'll notice that they disappear. They go to complete and then you can also view all through here. 
and everything is connected so when you do complete tasks here you'll notice that this bar will go up as well as the bar for your goals as well and once you're done with the final week either week 12 or week 13 you can go to your final reflection so if we go to final reflection you'll notice that you'll see all of your goals here and then you can measure your goal progress by adding your goals here so let's say read 12 books and if this was after the 12 weeks you had zero percent you might just put one and then you could say that i didn't have enough time for example so this is how you can fill in your goals that you worked on in this 12-week plan did you achieve all the goals on the scheduled deadline? Do you think you chose the right goals? And so on. So we have these prompts here as well for you. And then in the final review and reflect, you can take a look at all of your scores here with your progress bar and kind of determine an average score. So if you're averaging around 80%, you could put 80% and so on. So this is a really good way to see your entire 12-week cycle. And then you can answer some questions like, are you happy with your score? What can you do differently to reach a higher score? How many weeks did you follow the weekly plan? Based on this 12-week result, what worked and what did not work? How would you describe your growth over the 12 weeks? So these are really useful for just really reflecting on it. And you can also go to each of your goals afterwards and fill in the reflection sheet that we showed you. And if we go back... And you can finally also make sure that all of your weekly plan reflections are done too. So that's how we would approach the 12 week year through this template. And finally, we wanted to show you what you should do once you're finished with the 12 week year. So there are two ways to duplicate this template. So you want to keep one that's empty. So for example, if this was gonna be our empty template, we could just name this one preview. So you can either store it inside of a Notion page or you'll see it on the left hand side like this. So we see this 12 week year planner here and you can just click the three dots here and click duplicate. And you should see a duplicated version of this template and it's going to be duplicated here. Alternatively, you can click this six dots here and then go to duplicate in order to duplicate it. And then you could just click inside here and start your next yearly planning. So we could name this number two, or you could put your dates here like this. You can even rearrange it so that this one is the duplicate template like this. So all you'd need to do is duplicate here, and then you can drag it over to your 12 week year plan so that you have a log of all of your 12 week year planning every 12 week cycle so that's the basics of our 12 week year planner we hope that this is useful for you if you're interested in this template we'll leave the link to it in the description below if you have any questions comments or anything that was confusing in this video feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one